Hey, it's Ben. Welcome back to Mustache Moto. It's fall, the weather's gorgeous. We want to be out riding all the time, but that also means colder temperatures. And with that comes cold hands, which is never fun when you're on a long ride. So I've got five ways to help keep your hands warm at different price points, starting from dirt cheap and going to reasonably expensive. So let's jump right into that. The first way, which is extremely easy, is nitrile gloves. You may already have them for uh, working on your bike, changing the oil, that sort of thing. If you got ones that just fit snugly, just go ahead and put that on and slide your glove in. You added about five degrees of warmth there. Um, you don't really lose any dexterity, so they feel great. The downside is your hand's gonna sweat in there and that's a little bit nasty over time. So. The other thing you can do is get large latex gloves or nitrile gloves. These are actually double XLs. I've got an extra large glove on, but I can still put this right over the top. One key is to buy the five mil gloves because the thicker ones, which you would think would be better, are actually too thick and they don't stretch. So it takes a little bit of work to get this on over your glove, but once you do, you've added a considerable amount of warmth because there's no air is going to get through. So especially if you have more summer type gloves, this is going to make a huge difference. Bonus here is these are waterproof. So if you get in a rainstorm, they're not going to get wet. And the other bonus is they come off with your glove. So if you're going to wear them all day, you stop for lunch, you can just slide your hand out. You don't have to try and re-glove every time. So that's the first way. Those cost maybe 25 or 50 cents a pair. So about as cheap as you can get. Next up, hot hands. These things are amazing. Cost about a dollar for a pack of two. Uh, they last about 10 hours. You probably know about them already, but rip it open. You stuff it in the back of your glove. That adds a lot of warmth. Cold day, you could actually put one in the front and one on the back. Um, I always keep these on the motorcycle. The other great use for these is if you're camping and you get cold, man, you throw one or two of these in your sleeping bag and it makes a huge difference. You'll be much warmer than you expected. Next, we've got Thermosilk glove liners. Super thin, they're made out of silk, so they're warm and they're really comfortable. These are about $12, $15 a pair and they go right inside your glove. Glove feels great. If you've got a super tight leather glove, it might be a little too snug. Um, you want to be careful of that because if the glove gets too, too tight, you're going to lose circulation. Your hand will actually be colder. But this adds a fair amount of warmth and fits right inside the glove. It's really comfortable. Those are about $12, $15. Uh, next up, number four is heated grips. Man, these things are awesome. So this bike came with them but I've fitted them on previous bikes of mine. Oxford makes a great pair. I'll link those below. Uh, the, the great thing about these is they're always on the bike. So if you start getting chilly, you know, you hit a mountain pass and the temperature is dropping, you just click them on. You don't have to stop and change your gloves and put something else on. You can adjust it while you're riding and that's amazing. And then you're also adding heat. So it, rather than just insulating your hands, you're putting more heat into them. Um, Downside is you're only heating the palms of your hands, and I find that I really clench the bars a lot when I have them on for a long period of time. I think that's because that, like the tighter you grip them, the more heat you're getting out of them uh, because no air is getting underneath your hands. And I find after an hour or two, I've got to really consciously loosen up on the bars because my hands start to cramp up a little bit. So that's something to be careful of. Number five, oh, those are about $100 um, for a pair of those. And number five, these things are amazing. So heated gloves, about $120. Um, they're kind of like a winter ski glove. Hand fits in it perfectly, it's insulated. And then you hit the button here and you've got three levels of heat. These things pump out a lot of heat and the, the, the heating fibers are actually all throughout the entire glove. Um, on the high setting, they get quite hot, but it only lasts a couple hours. You, you notch it back, back down and they last pretty well. But I love them so much, I actually bought a second set of batteries. So they're easy to swap out. They just plug in. 
And if I'm on a long trip, I can do that and then recharge the ones that died. I spent nine hours on the interstate this weekend and it was probably upper 40s. My hands were cold until I put these on. Man, these things just take care of it. Um, downside on these is they're more like a ski glove, as I said, so they're not the best protection. You know, you don't have full leather, um, not gonna be as much protection as your other gloves, and you lose some dexterity because they're a little bit thick. I think it's a perfect trade-off, you know, if you're not in really tight twisties and really working the bike, if you're on the interstate, more open highways, you don't necessarily need quite as much feel. Um, these things are awesome. So highly recommended. Stay warm, keep riding, and see you soon.